Hey guys, how are you doing? Is it worth buying 2012 MacBook Pro in 2025 or you should consider any other better alternative for the next few years usage? I'm going to share my experience and understanding about the 2012 MacBook Pro which is currently in use by few people and if you are you know, able to see this in used market when you are shopping for used MacBooks, confused to choose which one you should go for, whether the price may be attractive but you have to make a pause and think about the hardware the software level features the limitations and for how many years you are planning to use it and so on so we will discuss that one by one in this episode this MacBook Pro 2012 model that you are seeing on the screen right now is currently used by a friend of mine who is a web developer and most of his works are you know dependent on the Google Chrome browser and Safari browser so for his usage he finds it still functional the device is still working so he's not ready to give up and go for an upgrade with the latest apple silicon chipsets we have apple m4 chipsets available right now but still he is kind of stubborn to use this device till it's completely dead this one has 8 gb ram memory you know uh, with one slot it is upgradable ram memory up to 16 gb and he have upgraded the internal storage the hard disk to ssd for faster read write speed performance with his regular browser and other apps related usage and when it comes to the hardware ports you know this one has the MagSafe power port the charging port it has Ethernet port if you want to use a wide internet cable and it has a Thunderbolt 1 port which is also a mini display port that you can use for connecting any displays has two USB A ports it don't have any USB C port you know by that time Apple didn't bring that USB C port for you know very long time and it has super drive on the right side which is also a DVD CD drive a small area for the Kingston lock you know if the macbook have to be placed in a fixed position when it comes to the display it has a little higher hd resolution but it is said to be the hd resolution not even a full hd 1080p display it comes around 800 pixels or something you know apple's own display spec and resolution configuration present in this macbook pro model while watching videos and browsing texts you won't see big difference it is pretty decent and of course for more than 12 years usage the display is still functional and I didn't see any lines or dots you know dead pixels on the display while you know taking this video of my friend's MacBook Pro you can see the colors and everything you know it's okay for a video performance you will always notice the thick bezels at the sides and he uses it rarely for YouTube videos and while watching you know video tutorials with his development related works when you see the used macbook pro 2012 model also check the display part you know that is very important use it for a few minutes and see any flickering or any dead pixels are clearly visible at the corners or at the center of the screen by opening any white clear image or any colors like red blue you know kind of a wallpapers a plain wallpapers from the google image search that will help you to check the display quality it has scissor mechanism keyboard and a small trackpad that keyboard gives beautiful feedback while typing you know it is definitely one of the comfortable keyboard i have ever used and i still miss that specific keyboard even with the latest magic keyboards you know i don't think apple have that uh, exact experience as I said, he have upgraded the SSD storage by opening the back panel. I have also published a video tutorial about how to upgrade the MacBook Pro uh, 2012 model SSDs and the RAM memory. He have removed the 4 GB RAM memory and uh, I think he have placed only one 8 GB RAM on one slot. So now we are coming to the important part, the software compatibility. Here you can see the Google Chrome version that he is using I have displayed a prompt in the settings about section of the Chrome browser that you need to update the Mac is to at least 11 or later so that you can use the update feature of the Chrome so browsers and all other applications will stop supporting on older Mac OS version older hardware the processor and you know other hardware components for security reasons and you know for several other reasons there are of course the open legacy patcher option available but uh, the hardware may not be you know uh, capable of handling such latest 
uh, Mac operating system, graphical UI changes and the feature changes. So as a conclusion, if you ask me whether you should buy this 2012 MacBook Pro in 2025 or not, my suggestion is to try to skip it as much as possible. Go for at least 2015 or 2016 MacBook models and then even though your usage is basic like web browsing, emails and watching videos, getting as latest as possible will help you to, you know, it don't have to be an Apple M silicon chipset but the internet generation macbook models are still excellent choice for you know your basic usage which will never break your wallet and uh, you know this type of models can be found under 150 dollars under 200 dollars range but still the question is for how many years more you are going to use it so for at least another three to four years with software compatibility usage my suggestion is to go for 2015 or 2016 model in 2025 to use it for another few years. That will be a smart choice you can make by adding 100 or 200 dollars. You can find a better, you know, a functional MacBook Pro models in the market without any issue. If you are finding this video useful, don't forget to share it with a friend who is also looking for a used MacBook purchase. These tips may help him to decide as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day for more. Don't forget to subscribe.